What's up everybody? This is Eddie and we are coming at you live from Flex Arms beautiful facility right here in Wapak, Ohio and we have another amazing demonstration for you today. We're going to be looking over this machine here, the Derex XT 3000 drill sharpener and we're super pumped to go over this with you. But before we get started, you'll notice on this side of the screen next to my man Chuck, there's a comment section. Now this is a live and interactive stream so we not only encourage but we anticipate each and every one of you to put any questions or comments right there in that chat box and you never know we may be able to pull those bad boys up on the screen and answer them in real time also on this section of the screen you'll notice there is a subscribe button please hit that subscribe button hit the bell so we can keep you in the loop with all the amazing notifications and content and last but certainly not least give us a huge thumbs up so joining us are a couple of experts from Derek I got my man Jim and Cody how are you guys doing today outstanding Good, Eddie. Thanks for having us. Yeah. There you go. My Good day to sharpen Jim. some drill bits, right? That's right. There you uh, go. My there name you is go. Jim, and along with Cody, we co-manage this brand. Uh, my responsibilities fall into anything that's new product development related, uh, production, and maybe even a little bit getting involved with quality team. So that's where my so that's that's my element. Cody. Yeah. What's up, everyone? My name's Cody, um, and I manage the sales and marketing department um, over at Derek's Industrial, so take care of everything sales and marketing related. Well, right on, right on. Well, it's awesome to have some industry experts with us today. Uh, we're pumped to be able to showcase your machine. So as we get started, I got my good man Chuck here. Now, Chuck, I'm, I'm looking here. I see this huge box just full of drill bits. What in the world is going on here? Like, what's the idea behind this here, man? Well, every shop has one. If it's not every shop, it's a, every toolbox. And everybody uses a drill bit. It gets dull, they put it away somewhere. They don't have, they don't have it sharpened yet, but yet they can't just toss it out. So, Man. it gets thrown into a big box and it keeps growing bigger and bigger over the years. Man, why in the world would somebody do this? There's, I feel like there's so much opportunity here, man. There is. <laughs> no, that's amazing. That, so, Chuck, everybody has a box that looks just like that one, if not bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are by no means here to judge. We left our gavels at home. So <laughs> I guess before we had this machine here, this Derek's XT3000, like what did FlexArm do with all of the drill bits? Pretty much for that right there. Or we would send them out and get them resharpened. Okay. Okay. We'd keep them in a box somewhere. And after three, four weeks, we get a hold of somebody and they come in, pick them up, take them somewhere, get it sharpened, bring them back to us, all nice and sharp. Okay, okay, no, interesting. Sounds like it could be somewhat timely. I feel like a machine like this would probably solve a lot of those problems. But I mean, if I'm looking at it and me being kind of an outsider, it, it looks like there's a lot going on. So how easy is this machine to use? It's very complicated. <laughs> okay, okay, noted. <laughs> no, it's actually pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's three steps. You align it, you sharpen it, then you split point it, and it's straightforward. It's really not hard at all. Okay. Okay. No, this is interesting. I know we got a lot going on here. So, so I'm, I'm curious uh, with this, um, really kind of pass it off to you guys there. So how many times can you actually sharpen a drill bit before it becomes dull and you can't use it anymore? The dull part of it happens. I mean, there's so many variables that go into it. And a lot of it is, is um, you know, is there flood coolant involved? speed rate, speed rates, but it's actually a lot to do with the actual parent material that's getting drilled, right? So our, our part in this is to just restore it. And as far as how many times a drill can be sharpened, as long as there's enough flute left to evacuate the chip and the drill's long enough to drill the depth of hole you need, you can continue to consume those drills until that point happens. So most drills can literally be sharpened, you know, hundreds, tens, if not hundreds of times before you actually throw them away. So there's a lot of value in the box that Chuck just showed, but when the when it's like having a dull knife, you can't cut your steak with a dull knife. You want a nice sharp a nice sharp <laughs> steak knife. So in an afternoon Chuck could spend some time and sharpen all those drills and the return on that investment by re putting all those drills back in your tool crib saves you guys going to McMaster Car or whoever you get your drills from to buy more of them, right? So you're basically okay. paying yourself to sharpen them. 
Okay. No, very cool, very cool. And so, I guess, Chuck, is there anything that we need to be seeing, or what are we, we going to be doing today on this machine? Well, right now we're going to be using a drill chuck, or not really a drill chuck, but a, a drill holder. It's where you start the first steps of getting the drill bit sharpened. You have two so different sizes. So what, Chuck, what Chuck's going to do here, here. As, <laughs> as the machine is delivered, we can sharpen anything from three millimeters or roughly an eighth all the way up to 13 16 or 21 millimeters. And what Chuck is going to do is he's going to select the what we call a chuck or the work holding device to slip the drill inside the chuck. And now he's going to put it in what we call the alignment. And what this is going to do is it's going to orient the drill rotationally and set the overall length to the cam that's on the back of that work holding device. So as Chuck squeezes the lever together and holds it, those carbide fingers fall down in the flute of the drill and that is what's providing the orientation. Now Chuck with his free hand is gonna lock the drill by tight, by rotating it clockwise. That's gonna actually uh, grip the drill. So he's done with that. And like I said, the amount of material that we're gonna grind off the end of that has already been predetermined. Now, Mr. Chuck is gonna start the, the grind motor itself. It's a nice little a red really, button over here. To a turn really on. nice feature with this machine. You can see it down in below in the stand is a uh, vacuum that is automatically comes on with the sharpener and keeps your work environment incredibly cr clean. Something we highly recommend, but it is an option for you to buy. Now, Mr. Chuck is going to sh actually sharpen the drill. It's a we offer this machine in two models, a manual version and also this automated version. And it's just this simple. Chuck's gonna put the follower behind the Chuck and he's gonna push one button. And the machine is now going to run itself. It has intelligence. So it knows when it's done sharpening and it will literally complete the grinding process and stop off the grind wheel. In that auto sharp controller box, you have, there's a lot of parameters that you can adjust as the owner, um, as far as how many spring passes and whatnot, several different languages. It's full of useful information, but here in one second, it's gonna be done sharpening. It's gonna stop off the grind wheel, which is an important feature. At that now, with this kind of time, being all automated, I got a question. So, how yeah. accurate would you say this machine is, given with it being so automated? So, we guarantee aerospace standards, and to boil that down, what that means is the symmetry of the lip heights. If you were to measure them along as um, related to the axis of the drill, they would be within point zero zero one six thousandths or one thousandths and six tenths. We sell a large amount of these overseas and metric that would be 0 0.04 millimeters. So now Chuck is going to um, remove the Chuck from the sharpening fixture. It's done sharpening. And this element is what is the, what the industry calls splitting the point. So Chuck's going to show you basically what's been done, I think, in front of the camera or no, nope, we're going to go right on to splitting. What this is going to do is going to whoop. It's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Let's get an HD image real quick of this. Let's just see. Let's check this bad boy out. If we want to talk about it. Let's be about it. So what Look Chuck is, what the machine has done is from the cutting edge back, there's two basically intersecting conics that, that create a sharp drill. And we also do the point splitting process, which has not yet been done, but Chuck's going to demonstrate that next. The, yes, sir. The chisel line or the line that connects the two cutting edges that passes through the center of the drill that is a non-cutting element but by splitting the point you're going to see this the drill that was before now chuck's going to split the point what this is doing is it's adding two additional cutting edges to the drill uh it makes itself center quite a bit better and it also um adds drilling capability to the drill So he's done one side and then the other. It goes down to a hard predetermined stop. So he is done. Now we can look at the image of the drill sharpened and split. 
And Chuck, what size drill was that? I believe that was a 3 8 3 8 drill. There you go. Look at that. See the light shine off that bad boy? Look how clean that is. Man. Now, if you look at the, if you get a close up on it, you can actually see the two sides come in that we just did come in and meet at a point. I don't know if you can, but they do meet up. There you go. No, it looks good. It looks good. So really, so what's happening when the drill essentially is in the sharp? Like what are some major components that make it so clean? <laughs> uh, it's, you know, uh, every, every grind wheel that we have done now for years is a billet steel that's electroplated. Uh, the surface finish is, is outstanding, typically uh, 16 RMS or better. Um, it, 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 do, it does a very nice job. And those, those grind wheels are about, I wish we had one to show our, our viewers. It's about a six and a half inch grind wheel. They're quite heavy. Uh, we offer them both in bores on CBN or diamond, depending on what, what material you're grinding. So um, we got you covered. There's nothing no, very we can't good. So along with this drill. Sorry. Go ahead, sorry. I said there's nothing that Derek's won't sharpen twist drill related, provided it yeah. it fits in the range, the eighth inch to thirteen sixteenths, and uh, high speed steel or carbide, we got you covered. No, very good. So when we're talking about this machine here, I guess before we get rolling too much, is there anything else we're gonna be featuring today? That was uh, I, I will you say You wanna talk this. about the Anything else? I mean, the yeah. this here is actually kind of a neat feature. I've I've never worked with one that had a, an automatic oscillation. Oh yeah. Uh, the other thing that the customers might want to know, or the viewers might want to know, the point angle range as delivered is 118 up to 150 degrees, and changing yes. that is completely toolless. You don't need a set of Allen wrenches or box end wrenches. Everything is a simple. What Chuck's going to demonstrate, unlock a, a, a brake right here, and he's going to turn the tube to a different point angle, and then he's going to relock the tube. It's that simple. Everything is absolutely toolless and effortless for the customer to make changes. Obviously, the two most common uh, drill points, included angles, are 118 and 135, but we can do anything from 118 to 150 degrees, and there's a ton of options for this machine. Chuck can also, uh, with a flick of a wrist, he can remove that automated sharpening fixture. You know how to do, yep, right there. So as simple as turn, rotating that, the fixture lifts off. It gives you the ability to sharpen a ton of different cutting tools, as long as they're drill related. Uh, the most popular one is probably our countersink attachment. Countersinks are quite common in the machining industry. We have a large drill attachment. It's not automated, it's manual, but it will go from that 13 sixteenths up to an inch and three sixteenths and take care of the larger drills for you. Uh, we can sharpen left hand drills. We can do step drills. We can sharpen a brad point drill. Cody, am I leaving any of them out? Um, no, uh, 90 degree uh, and large drills up to an inch and three sixteenths. So it's as simple as removing that sharpening fixture and buying an, in addition to an extra fixture for whatever your needs are. Bol plugs and plays just the, the reverse way that Chuck took that off and you're set up and ready to go. Well, right on. Well, hey, it looks like my man, Stefan, gave us a question today, pulled it up. Thanks for your question. So is this machine available on the European market? Can you guys give us some insight on that? Uh, yeah, it absolutely is. Um, we have a whole list of our distributors uh, on our website um, at derex.com, and you can find a local distributor, but, but we do. We sell them all over the European uh, market, and you just have to go through your local distributor. Very nice, very nice. And then a, a question that I had is, I know this machine looks like it has a handful of parts, but are there any accessories that you would essentially recommend for uh, any other general applications on this machine here? Uh, we very much encourage customers to buy that vacuum. It's, it's continuous duty rated. It's HEPA certified. Like I said, it runs with the machine. You don't have to remember to start and stop it. 
uh, the stand, the vacuum, the machine, we can sell you that as a package. We have a, a promo price on that that we'd love to do for you. Um, the cool thing about adding the vacuum is I extend the warranty or we extend the warranty for an additional year on the machine if you buy that, that component. And it's not expensive. We sell it at, at, a, at a smaller margin only because we really recommend that you have it. Without that, the machine gets pretty dirty pretty quick, but with it, it stays remarkably clean as you're exhausting all that grinding swarf as you're producing it. No, it absolutely makes sense. It truly, truly does. So uh, with this, are there any other models that you essentially feature outside of your XT3000? So as I, I mentioned earlier, we offer this as a manual version as well to where it does not turn itself. The, the chuck would supply all the energy there. We have a, um, a less expensive model called the V390. Um, the screen there is showing it. It's the one the furthest to the right. Um, the one uh, furthest to the left is a four axis CNC drill sharpener. That is um, very impressive. Uh, you program it through that touch screen interface and um, you can retain all of the drill files that you create so that the machine is completely runs unmanned as far as all the operator does is put the drill in the work holding device. They uh, pull up the program that they want to run or they create a new one. They push go and everything about the sharpening process is done for them, including can do some very unique geometry and the fact that when we do split point, we can do some custom features there. Probably the, the one of the other very significant things about that model. We also have a hone that we can um, do edge prep on solid carbide tooling, which is very important to keep the life of a solid carbide drill alive. Um, you never sharpen those and leave them absolutely sharp. So by all means, contact Cody or the sales staff and we can, um, uh, our website has tons of information on it, but we can definitely help you out with any of your needs. No, that's awesome. And Isaac, if you wouldn't mind, uh, you want to pull that website up. I saw an interesting tool I think I want to be able to uh, talk about a little bit, uh, and that is the, the ROI tool. I know we've heard a little bit about it, so can you guys kind of maybe walk us through what we're looking at here on the ability to calculate your ROI with a machine like this? Cody, you want to take this one? Sure. Um, so we uh, developed a way basically to help customers justify their purchase. Um, you know, Unlike a, a new car or something where uh, your purchase is, is really exciting and it's a it's kind of a desire, buying a new drill sharpener is not necessarily that way. So uh, you you have to have a, a means uh, you know to justify the purchase. So what we did is we created a calculator. So you can go in and you can select whichever model you want. Um, you know, put in the price, whether it be a promo price or, or MSRP and uh, scroll through and answer a couple really easy questions. Uh, you know, like Chuck mentioned before, you've got so many drills in a box, at a certain point you gather them up, you send them out to be sharpened or you buy new. Um, this can calculate all of that and it will roll up the cost and tell you how quickly uh, your machine is not only gonna pay for itself, but how much money you are going to save year over year after that. And, and it's a really easy and fast way to uh, know not only how much are your drills costing you, but how much money you can potentially put back into the company, back into your business um, by purchasing one of these machines. No, very nice. It looks like there's a decent amount of information. So if somebody was just to take the small amount of time that it would take to fill all this out, it looks like there's a significant amount of savings. I mean, I see here it save you up to $9,001 in expenses each year. That's a pretty good chunk that someone will be able to put back in their business, correct? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Pay for itself at your shop in four seconds. Man, that's, that's a pretty quick <laughs> ROI for what it's worth. Yeah. I like that. If only everything had that, right? So, oh, okay, look, Nick Kennedy, my man. So what's typical cost to outsource your drill sharpening? Uh, we, you know, we kind of loosely monitor that. And I would say a typical cost between 30 to 50% of whatever you paid for that drill new. And that's a really loose guideline. Um, there are people that charge more than that, but I would say that probably 80% of you know the regrinders that's probably in their wheelhouse somewhere 30 30 to 50 percent so if you pay 10 bucks for a drill 
expect it to cost you five dollars to resharpen it and i'm confident that in most situations we can resharpen that drill in a minute two at the max so again that roi calculator really helps you figure out the numbers as far as i believe there's a a, a longer version of that as well correct cody where you can put in what it costs you for employees your burden labor rate how long it takes the reef grinder to sharpen the drills and get them back to you i mean time is money all those things feed into it we really encourage the customer to go in and fill up put in their own numbers obviously we don't know those but it is pretty shocking how many people out there rely on perishable tooling to get the job done and really don't have a good grasp of what that costs them every month so anyway, if nothing but, else yeah. If nothing else, it's it's just enlightening to kind of figure those numbers out. Exactly. And you have a tool right there on your website at derricks.com. So make sure you all check that out for the ROI. So um, lastly, Isaac, do we have any other questions in that comment section to pull up? Good deal. Hey, a couple of questions. This is solid. So I got a question for you. So obviously you're using this. So how has it changed the way that you operate? Well, for one, the other guys don't bother me sharpening the drill bits as fast. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. They, they're they're getting very comfortable with the machine, and they're able to come over and sharpen the drill bits and take it back to the machine, and get the machine back up and running. There you go. It's pretty easy. There you go. They're, Spoke they're from the comfortable. operator himself, man. No, that that's good. That that's the <laughs> ultimate testimony on the raw and the real of these live streams. And before we kind of get uh, things wrapped up here, just wanted to give you guys a general idea so can we talk just briefly guys about the size differences that you can handle and sharpen in your machine so i think that's uh you know in, in eddie's right hand there that looks like about an eighth inch drill is that correct eddie that's a is good representation yes it is yes yep. yes so so that's perfect and then on in in eddie's left hand is uh I'm, it looks like about an inch or so isn't it chuck that's, that's actually a 13 16th uh, so so and, and then if you were to purchase the large drill attachment you could go up to inch and three sixteenths but that okay. basically that covers the range of of what this machine's capabilities are sidewise size wise no yeah. very good very good so uh with that gentlemen i got two more questions for jim and cody so uh very, very much a loaded question but why would somebody even consider buying one of these xt 3000s Um, mm. the, uh, the, the best, and I mean, the easiest answer right there is, is to, um, save, save time and money. I mean, truly it is, um, it, it's just a product to basically make people's, uh, work more efficient. Um, you know, less downtime, less cost and, uh, more money back into the business. And, and, you know, and when there's less downtime, manufacturing goes up and, and uh, revenue streams in more. So, I mean, that's truly the easiest um, way that I can say why somebody would purchase that. Jim? I'll, I'll chime in. How many guys out there have had the experience of you have one drill in your, in your drill index and somebody breaks it? What do you do? Does everybody go home for the... Yep, look, Chuck raised his hand. Does everybody go home for the day? and wait for the UPS truck to show up with another package of drills. With the Derricks, you can simply go and resharpen it, you're back in business. It's that, that simple, that quick. What we like to say at our trade shows, you have control over your own destiny with the Derricks, and that is, that's a lot of power, you know? And, and the fact that it saves you the money on top of it, who wouldn't want one? The other thing I wanna point out is Derricks has always offered a trial period with all of our products. Uh, the customer purchases the product. They get to use it in their shop and, and get to where their, their um, workers uh, use it and enjoy it. If there is anything they are not 100% satisfied with, we will refund your money in full, no questions asked. So, I mean, that, that, that just goes to show you how proud we are of this machine and how robust it is and how simple it is to use. Cody, you got anything no, that, else to add to that? No, nope, I think that's well said. Um, you know, to Jim's point, had had Chuck not liked it, had it not worked the way he wanted it to, uh, or you guys weren't seeing the return, he could pack that thing up and send it back to us. 
And, you know, and briefly to, to talk about the, the ROI calculator just one time again, um, you know, if your return on investment's two months and we're giving you a month for free, your return on investment's really only a month. So there's a lot of people that pay for their machines just within their trial period. No, no solid point, man. And I, I would hate to see what Chuck would do if we took this machine away from him, man. I'm sure there'd be a problem. So, no, it's absolutely amazing to be able to have that, though. And, and I appreciate it. So with that, last thing, Jim Cody, if somebody wants to learn more about your products, your offerings, or learn the ROI, how do they get a hold of you and where do they go for more info? You bet. Um, so you can go to Derex.com. Um, we have uh, contact us. Uh, you know, the, the website's loaded with information. Um, you can speak to us directly through a live chat. Um, our phone number is posted down there at the bottom at 1-800-547-0222. Um, there's four people on our sales staff. You're gonna talk to one of us. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna pick up the phone. We're gonna get you an answer. We're gonna talk to you, um, help you every step of the way. Um, or you can always email us, uh, direct email to our uh, sales team is dxi sales at derex.com. Um, so that goes directly to myself and, and the rest of the sales team. Um, but but pick up the phone. We, you know we, we'll always answer or we'll get back to you right away um, and provide you with whatever you need. Wonderful, wonderful man. So yeah, make sure everyone there you are ditching that drill bit box with. Derek's, we know it exists, we know you have it, so whether you're hiding them in a box, you're hiding them in your tool shed, let's ditch those bad ones, let's get them resharpened, and let's get that ROI turned around. Jim Cody, thank you guys both so much, Chuck. We appreciate your insight as well and your general feedback. It's been an amazing demonstration, so we appreciate each and every one of you as well for your questions and for joining us today. But before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button, you hit that bell to turn on the notifications so we can keep you in the loop with all the amazing content. And last but certainly not least, give us a huge thumbs up. I'm Eddie, you all stay awesome, stay flexing, and we'll see you next time.